hello welcome back to traveling box with me tanya and i'm currently crouched on a wet miserable mucky day on my driveway looking at my caravan tires so i thought well while i'm here i may as well video it um, because you never know something i have to say might prove useful to somebody because i don't know about you but tires aren't something that i've really given much thought or consideration to um previously let's face it on your car your tires apart from checking the tire pressure every so often um or basically when my car tells me that the tire pressure needs checking um i don't do anything else with them um it's mot'd once a year um actually my car's just had its first mot uh and the MOT tells you whether the, the tyres are still safe, whether the tread's good enough and things like that. So there's not something I've really given any thought to in a serious way. But caravans are different. Um, caravan tyres don't get used as much as car tyres do uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, they're not out every day in the way that our vehicles are. So the things that we do um, with our tyres on a caravan have to be different to, to what we would do with our car. And one thing that is um, essential to look at is the age of your tyres. Now it's recommended that a caravan's tyres should be changed maximum of seven years, preferably around about five years old. So that got me thinking actually, the one thing I didn't check when I bought Frankie was the age of the tyres. So with some trepidation when I got her home, I did check. Uh, so um, happily, my tyres are still uh, a good age and I'll, I'll show you the information that's on the tyres in a minute once I turn this around. Um, but yeah, uh, the tyres are good. I've, I've checked the, the, the tread on them and that's all good. Uh, so they're in pretty good nick. One thing I do want to check today is the tyre pressure. Um, because I haven't done that in, in well since since I bought her um, so I thought today would be a good a day as any since it stopped raining and I'm fed up with doing things in the rain so yeah if I show you the tyre uh, here we go um, there's all sorts of information around the outside wall that, that's printed on there um, just for your information if you want to check the age of your tires look for a string of, of letters and numbers usually starts with dot and then there's a string of, of numbers and then a four digit number here at the end um, which in this case is 4618 um, what the 4618 means is the 46 there's always a card that goes by when you're trying to talk. The 4-6 means it was manufactured on the 46th week and the 18 means it was manufactured in 2018. So these tyres were manufactured on the 46th week of 2018. So what's that? October-ish? Uh, 2018 so these are pretty new tires which is really really pleased me um, but what I'm going to do today is take tire pressure and I've got this nifty little gadget that I haven't used yet because last time I checked I borrowed my dad's <laughs> uh, so here we go um, there's the little valve there I'm just going to take that off they're always a bit awkward aren't they especially one-handed and mucky. So if I take this, switch it on, this is a digital reader and I've got it set to PSI and I believe, squish it in and that's at 39.2 PSI. Now I'm going to do that again, just in case I didn't do it right, because we never know. Alright, there we go. Uh, saying 39 PSI now. So I'll pop that little cap on. Now I believe my tyre pressure should be 57. So the pressure has gone down somewhat on those tyres. Um, now, 
I'm going to do a little calculation once I get indoors. Um, I'm not going to pretend to be all super duper clever and give you all the formulas for working out what the PSI should be on your tyres uh, because I didn't work it out. I googled it. Um, Dan Trudgeon, the Trudgeons, um, has done a fantastic YouTube video about um, caravan tyre pressures and how to cal calculate what the PSI should be. And on their website is a really nifty little calculator where you input um, the maximum PSI for your tyres and that information is found on the side of your tyres. You input the maximum MPTLM of your caravan, so in Frankie's case 1200 kgs. You input how many axles it is, things like that. And then it works out for you what the PSI should be on your tyres. Uh, so I know I need to pump these tyres up. Not doing that today, but we're not going anywhere. But before we next set out, I will check the, the tyre pressure again. And I will be pumping them up to, to the correct PSI, but that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I'm, I'm very pleased that... Uh, the age of the tyres is so new and that means I've got less to worry about and less to spend out on. But hopefully that's helped somebody, you never know. Uh, and yes, that was my little job for today. Um, and I'm going in now because I'm really, really cold. Thanks for watching. Bye.